Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I well, he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm. Sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Because of course it's not over yet. Of swords and dumplings will never fucking end, will it? Now Hattori has managed to get the managed to get the mob bosses off of his back, and he's gotten the tools and all that kind of shit necessary in order to start making swords for Geralt. But of course he's missing something, so we have to go and get something. So here we go. Of course, uh, some quests require you to be at places at certain times. So that's where the meditation feature comes in handy. And here we go. All right. We know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Errol ends up doing a lot of stuff like this, doesn't he? I mean, you think a master monster hunter would not spend so much time robbing people or breaking into things or dealing with humans. So much as he spends all his time dealing with monsters. You know, apparently I got turned around and went the wrong way. <laughs> well, here it is. <clears throat> what the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I know it's him. It's with your Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Your friend Zygrin sends his regards. By your own Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. I guess having friends in low places does pay off sometimes. Geralt had to get in here without uh, having to kill anyone. <laughs> Doesn't happen that often does give you options sometimes to either go in loud and angry or sneak your way in or bribe your way in or use your magic powers to convince people to let you in. So it does give you some options there. Although it is a little bit inconsistent on how well that kind of thing works. So it's, I don't know, I'm kind of torn on whether I think it's a good idea or not. Oh yeah, just steal shit. It'll be great. It'll be fine. Have you any... Oi. Suit, hat top, hands up, brother. Slow down, Sucrus. Let's talk. I gotta save me brother-in-law. Attack! Oh, these... people. <laughs> uh, clearly, I'm not uh, quite geared up enough or leveled up enough or whatever to fight these people, but I think I can pull it off. In fact, clearly I did, or I wouldn't be making the episode right now. Ding. 
you get these two brother-in-laws, and you first run into them in their fist fighting. And then you have the one like, oh, get me, get me my money from him. And all that kind of stuff. <laughs> you think there's so much contention between them that there isn't any reconciling the two of them. But clearly that's not the case. And it's some cultural aspect of these guys that they're... They feud a lot or they fight a lot, but it doesn't mean they don't care for each other or anything like that. It's just part of their culture that they're going to be at each other's throats or they're going to compete with each other. But of course a bunch of people have to die for the sake of their <laughs> competition. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe not that good of a thing. We could conquer all Nilfgaard with this fighter. Secrets, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Draca that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. God, maybe finally Hattori will be able to make some damn swords for me. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing alright? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I've no need of sucrus anymore, and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything. So long. Finally. Bravo! Plowing Scragdom Farrah. They tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. <laughs>